Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, uh, we will continue our series uh, when we are painting the models using the Vallejo paint sets. Uh, in this video, we will try to paint uh, this uh, Zanshi uh, using these uh, colors provided inside this uh, Vallejo paint set. And there is uh, Angel Giraldes guide inside included and uh, miniature. So let's uh, see wha what we have inside. So the miniature is not uh, assembled and uh, you have eight colors and uh, guide. Uh, same is uh, all the videos uh, before from this mini series. Uh, I will just go step by step uh, through this guide and uh, try to follow the instructions and try to paint the mini to the same look uh, as on the cover. Uh, on a quick look through the guide, uh, we already see that uh, same as in all the previous guides, uh, they won't give you explanation how to paint the head of the model, uh, but we will do everything in this uh, video. And uh, before we start, uh, I just want to mention that uh, I'm using a wet palette, so all these paints that I will be using uh, I will mix them on the wet palette and I will keep adding the water to them. Uh, so just if I don't show you during the video so that you have idea what's actually happening. And a uh, quick reminder guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, because uh, it will help this channel grow. I assembled uh, the model and I put it uh, on the separate base uh, because when I was doing my Yuching uh, Operation Custom I made a lot of snow bases uh, so I will just uh, transfer this model to that snow base uh, when I'm done. Uh, let's start with the painting. Uh, step 1. Uh, a mixture of 50% cavalry brown and 50% orange brown is applied as a base color all over the armor. An airbrush or brush are used for this step. Uh, as you can see, they painted uh, everything with the airbrush, but we will use the brush. And the thing is, they don't tell us it's that they primed the model black, but looking at the picture, it is so obvious that it's black. So I use this uh, black color that's provided inside the set, and I just uh, put it in my airbrush and uh, I primed the whole model black. Uh, you can do this with the brush, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you do uh, very thin coats. Or you can use a spray paint as long as it doesn't uh, cover your details. Now we will go back to that uh, cavalry brown and orange brown mix and we will start uh, painting this uh, orange yellowish armor. Uh, so as they said, uh, just applied it as a base color over the armor. Uh, as we are working over the black primer, I had to apply this in uh, two thin coats, uh, but overall the, this color mix have a really good coverage, so I didn't have any problems uh, with the black uh, seeing through under this uh, brown color. As you can see, I painted the uh, all the armor panels and just uh, little pieces on her backpack as well. Step 2. Orange brown is applied for the first highlights. Afterwards, scrofulous brown is added in small quantities, applied in very thin layers to obtain homogeneous result. Uh, so as we can see here, uh, they will start uh, highlighting the model and then just keep uh, adding the uh, scrofulous brown to the mix little by little and uh, every time you add a little scrofulous brown uh, you will highlight less and less area that you did before. Uh, for the first pass I went and I covered like 90% of the areas I previously painted. For this I use a pure orange brown first but I left all the recesses uh, in the shadows, so I try not to go inside the recesses so you can see the difference between the shadows and the lights after. Uh, 
and now I added a little of uh, Scrofulous Brown uh, to the mix and then I started highlighting uh, the same areas as I did before but this time I will cover less area so I will cover like 70 to 80 percent of the previous area covered uh, as well I will try to pay attention not to go into the recesses and I will focus these highlights on the most raised areas uh, I won't bother too much with the areas that are under or that you won't be able uh, to get any lights on it. And so I was keep adding more and more scrupulous brown and uh, going more and more uh, over the same areas every time uh, covering less and less. Uh, to try to create the transitions uh, in this color. Uh, so I think I went maybe like four very thin layers uh, with these uh, mixes, every time adding uh, more and more scrupulous brown until I ended up the last stage doing the, the pure uh, scrupulous brown. This is my final result after this step. As you can see, this step contained uh, so many sub-steps, but this is one of the most important pieces of, of the armor, uh, so it's uh, the focus on, of our miniature. Uh, so we'll go now to the step number three, and it says uh, for a second application of highlights, uh, the color icy yellow is applied over the previous color uh, on the higher areas and ridges of the armor. Uh, so what they actually want us to do here is to do the edge highlight uh, on the armor panels and uh, try to put uh, more highlights on the most raised areas uh, on the shoulder pads and uh, the armor panels. So I pick up ice yellow, uh, but here I was not sure actually did they want us to actually mix the ice yellow with the previous color because the contrast between this color was so huge uh, but still uh, since I was uh, totally unsure I just did a very light uh, edge highlight uh, with this color Step 4. Uh, white is applied to create the third highlight, focusing the light on the top ridges and on the shoulder pads. So they want us in this step uh, just to highlight the shoulder pads. Uh, so what I did is that I put a little dots or a little lines at the top of the shoulder pads and as well on the all like the ridges that are mostly exposed uh, to the light from the top. I created like a little dot, a little line just to simulate a little reflections there. Uh, so this is a really small highlight, so you don't need to go uh, too much with it and this will like, uh, give a very good uh, touch to the armor. Step 5. 
Uh, lastly, Cavalry Brown is applied to create the shadows in the lower area and grooves of the armor. So what they actually want us to do here is to do the opposite uh, as we did the previous step. So we will uh, enhance the shadows. So I pick up the Cavalry Brown as advised and then I went inside all the recesses and uh, just draw the shadows and as well as uh, on the all the areas that are under and not uh, exposed to the light i just draw a little lines uh, so this is a very little touch you don't need to work that much if you were careful uh, before with the painting you will already have a, a good definitions of shadows so you will just enhance them uh, in this step Step 6. Uh, pants. A mixture of 40% uh, periscopes, 40% heavy black green and 20% black is applied as a base color all over the pants. It is important to apply the colors in fine layers. Uh, so I made the mix uh, as they advised uh, on my wet palette and then uh, I painted the pants uh, with this color. Uh, I was really surprised that they uh, wanted us to mix uh, three colors uh, to have this tone uh, because I think that uh, Vallejo have uh, some colors that are uh, in this uh, tone without the request of us to mix the three of them. Uh, but anyway, I mixed this couple of times uh, just trying to achieve the same tone as it was in the picture. And I think I got it from the second time. So then I went uh, all over the model and I just painted uh, the pants and I painted uh, the sleeves uh, on, the, on her top as well. Step 7. Ice yellow is added to the previous mixture to obtain the first highlights. Add the color gently and little by little to obtain best results. Uh, I think they wanted to say here that uh, it's not the first highlight, I think it's the only highlight there because in the next step uh, there is no more highlighting. So uh, the thing is that I did is that uh, I added a little ice yellow to the mix uh, and I did the first highlight of the most uh, raised areas of the pants uh, and the folds. And then I added a little more ice yellow and did the final highlight uh, with the brightest uh, tone of this color, uh, highlighting only uh, like the folds and the most raised areas of the pants. Then I added a little more of the ice yellow to the previous mix and I just did the final highlight. So just highlighting the, the ridges and the edges, the folds of the pants. Uh, and this is very little highlight uh, just to make uh, the pants uh, come into the focus. Step 8. Uh, lastly, black is applied to the mixture of the base color to create shadows in the deeper areas. So they want us, uh, instead of doing the wash on the model, just uh, as before, uh, to go into the deepest uh, and darkest areas and just enhance uh, the shadows uh, with the black color. I will use this moment to show you how my wet palette uh, looks uh, at this moment. So you can see how I created like the default mix and then I created the uh, highlights on the left and then the shadows on the right side. As you can see the same thing we did with the brown and the orange colors uh, before for the armor. This is a very small step. So you will go just inside the, the recesses and the grooves 
and just enhance it a little just to create a contrast between your highlights and your uh, shadows. Step 9. Uh, black is applied as the base color all over the weapon, then white is added for the highlights on the edges. A fine detailed brush should be used for this, since the part is very small. Uh, so I mix the colors uh, on the wet palette just to create this grey color. And what they want us to do here is actually to use uh, the side of our brush or some very small brush and do the edge highlights on all the black areas. So it's mostly on the weapon, uh, on the holster for the gun and all those straps uh, that she have uh, around her tights. And uh, as well she have a little backpack uh, on the back. Uh, which there is no any guide how to paint it, so I just left it black and just highlight it with these colors as well. Uh, only thing here was uh, that they say that we need to use the black to repaint the gun and everything, but uh, since we were very neat and uh, we didn't use the airbrush, uh, for me this step was not needed, uh, but in case that you made any mistakes uh, in the previous steps, you can just go and repaint everything uh, with the black and then do the highlights uh, from the beginning. Step 10. Uh, next we add white to give a greater definition to the ridges and provide the weapon with the more highlights. So what I want us to do actually is to uh, enhance the highlights. So just mix a little of the white in the mix and I just did to enhance the uh, edges and the corners of the gun just to create uh, little reflections. So this is a very little highlight. Just couple of dots uh, here and there and couple of small lines uh, just to create the, the best uh, reflections and uh, make those uh, uh, details uh, stand out. So this is the stage uh, where their guide uh, finished. As we can see there is no more uh, explanation how to paint uh, the rest of the model. Uh, but as you can see if you compare I think uh, we get the same details uh, as on the pictures. Uh, now only thing that is left is to paint the face and the hair. And uh, I will try to do the same thing uh, as here on the picture. And I will try to use uh, all the colors that are provided with this set, so that you don't need to buy any extra colors, that you can just finish this model. So for the hair, I mixed the cavalry brown with the black, like 70-30, uh, just to make a cavalry brown a little darker, and I just uh, repainted uh, the hair with this color. And then for the face, uh, I used the cavalry brown mix uh, with the white. Uh, I mixed this couple of times uh, that uh, I found like a perfect skin tone for me. So you can do it like little pale if you want or a little more warmer. Uh, so you can really tone it down uh, with the white. Uh, only thing here to be careful is uh, when you paint this, don't go into the eye sockets. You can just go slightly over the eyes so that you can paint uh, the pupils, uh, make a little highlight, but don't paint inside of the eye sockets. Uh, then I added a little black to the previous uh, mix and uh, I created the wash. 
uh, you can see uh, consistency of the wash on my finger and then I washed uh, the whole face and the hair together uh, with the same tone. Uh, just be careful not to go on her visor on the head uh, because we highlighted already and finished that part. And then after everything is dried properly, I mixed uh, more Cavalry Brown with the white uh, to create my final highlight for the face. And I just highlighted uh, the most raised areas of the face, uh, like I did the nose, I did the cheeks, uh, her lips uh, and her eyebrows with this. Uh, and as well I touched a little of the pupils, uh, just to create a little highlight. Because her eyes are super small, I couldn't really bother of trying to draw the, the perfect eyes uh, because it's so small and uh, I would make so much mistakes. And that's it, I think uh, she's uh, completed. I will just transfer her to the base I showed you before. Let's compare it uh, to the pictures that we have in guide. So I think uh, that uh, we got the same effect as they advised. So I have to say that uh, this guide explains it like really good how to paint this yellow armor. I know that for some people uh, painting yellow is uh, very tricky and it's very scary. Uh, but following this guide you see I didn't have that much problems. Only a couple of times I was thinking like what to do. But at the end like uh, the result is really nice and I was uh, happy how the this uh, turned out in the end so thumbs up for this uh, set if you want to paint your Eugene uh, in these color schemes go for it uh, only thing is like uh, you will have to add maybe a few more colors for the rest of the army but nothing too much I think uh, this will cover you well and guys uh, thank you all for watching and please uh, don't forget uh, to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, any future content and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions please uh, leave them in the comment section below and uh, i will try to do my best uh, to reply uh, this is all for now stay safe take care and uh, see you in the next video bye bye